Welcome to day two and part two of the Cars and Cameras Racing Weekend, the Dust Bowl 500, the great American yard cart race. Charles and Peyton have been busting tail to smooth out this track and to keep it watered down uh, just to try to minimize that dust. So a bunch of go-karts got broken in yesterday's activities. Let's go check in with everybody and then let's get to some racing. Like this? No, no, I have not. It's actually how they're meant to be, really. Bill Brake and Repeat got here last night and saw Redbeard's yard cart, and they were like, "All right, we gotta not figure something cat. else out." <laughs> You're gonna have to go. <laughs> trying to at least, you know, place in this one. I don't know what to do with my hand. No, uh, <laughs> cart, hand, cart, cart handled real good. It turned left. So what we're doing is uh, three races with four contenders each, and then the top two from each one of those go into the Dust Bowl 500. So we're gonna have six in the Dust Bowl 500. So we're doing 10 laps in each heat race and then 20 laps for the Dust Bowl 500. So Peyton is gonna water down the track a couple more times. It's uh, pretty grippy out there. It's gonna be awesome. We have all kinds of just like different style. We have skinny tires, we have fat tires. Uh, it's gonna be a good race. It's gonna be interesting. Safety is what is the, the number one. Rule number five is safety first. You, you know, you're focused on winning and everything, but you got to keep your head on a swivel. So just be considerate, watch out for fellow drivers. You know, we're all here to have fun. You know? Green flag, uh, of course. They're to scale. <laughs> it's cold out. It's cold outside. <laughs> Team cars and cameras. Let's go, boys. Be safe. Have fun. Shake and bake. Shake and, and bake. <laughs> To keep this episode exciting, I'll give you the highlights of each heat race and cover the entire feature. John, Kyle, Jason, and Peyton are racing in heat number one. Green flag is waved and we immediately have a close call between Jason and Peyton in a battle for third place. There was some confusion as to the number of laps in the first heat race, and Peyton passed Kyle during the confusion, leaving John to finish first, Peyton second, Kyle third, and Jason fourth. Because Kyle got shortchanged, we agreed to let him start in P7 during the feature. Are you not gonna? This is circle track racing. You need to go beat him up, man. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> this is a fight in the pits. I'm not gonna beat the officiator. All right, Kevin. What do you say, man? You're starting P1, heat two. I'm ready to race. <laughs> Brought the the heat, I guess. This is gonna be a a pretty painful race. Well, no, it's smooth, man. But I'm saying that's a good cart. That's a good All cart. Right. That's a good cart. That's a good cart. This is gonna be a a good tough heat. heat. Yeah. Charles is repping team cars and cameras for heat two. How we doing? Cart handled good in practice, uh, ready to ho take home the W. I hear you. The pace cart as in as they're making their way around to the green flag, and we have some really close action between Kevin and Charles for the first lap or two and then disaster. That's a dust bowl. That's a dust bowl. It's dead. What happened? 
Kevin. Charles took first place, Lonnie second, Greg third, and Kevin finished on the sideline with a stuck engine. Kevin, what happened, buddy? The engine blew up. The engine blew up. We go, boom. Kevin blew up an engine. Congrats, bud. I didn't even, I was just running through the second, coming into our second lap. Man, you guys were so close. Oh, dude, it was such a good race for that one lap it lasted. Came around this corner, I'm like, I hear noise. I heard, and, and it stopped. Did it blow it up? I think it blowed up. Did anyone <laughs> check the oil on it? Oh. Nope. Dude, this is the oh. one with the leaky side cover. It's been sitting for like a year. No one checked the oil on it. Nobody oh. did. We're in, there's so much this stuff going on. This yeah. one was killing it. Heat 2 was close until engine seized on Kevin's uh, cart. So Peyton's watering down the track and uh, going to go on to Heat 3. And then it's the Dust Bowl. Tyrannus' go-kart was largely untested before the race, and it turns out it has a major understeering problem. Oh! <laughs> what happened? This thing's got negative traction. Oh. I can't get it to steer. Not it runs? It runs, I just can't Wait, get it to get stay on. Put your helmet on, come on. You mean alignment? Nah, it's not even that. Joe is fighting the steering wheel as well as he finishes in third place behind Vasily and Braxton from Redbeard's Garage. Braxton, Team Redbeard's Garage wins heat three. It's time for the final. Time for the final. Uh, the motor cools and it does turn again. So we threw some oil down the spark plug hole and in the proper hole, we're just gonna see if she comes back around. It's not done. There's more left in it. It was just seized. Yeah. Minor it'll smoke problem. a little bit, but it'll run. Who needs oil? Yeah. Not this one. What's going on? Uh, so, let the oil sit in the top, rolled it through yeah, a couple hundred times, it felt right. like. I mean, it's even knock. Good to go. Yeah. Freaking mint. Braxton, congrats, yeah, man. Thank you. Free. You gotta be kidding me. Kevin, you're back in it, dude. We're back. So this is the final, the Dust Bowl 500. We have eight contestants in the race for 20 laps. Kevin, his engine got stuck because it didn't have oil in it, so we're letting him in. Let it cool off, put oil in it, and magically it runs again. And Kyle again, because he got shortchanged a little bit on the confusion on Heat 1 race. So 20 laps, Redbeard is P1 and P2, so uh, I think they have a pretty good chance. Me, Charles, and Peyton are representing cars and cameras. We're kind of mid-pack. Should be a good time. Hang on, no, hang on. We can make this run. We got a whole pull start with us. It's, it's riveted on there. When it rains, it pours. It, it was start your engines and, uh, well, you guys know what happened. It's okay. It'll be fine. Start your engines, the engine didn't start. No. Charles' pull cord snapped going into the Dust Bowl 500 feature race, so Kevin, being the true gentleman that he is, gave up his cart to give to Charles.
there are lots of fast go-karts going into this final. If you look in P7, that's our buddy Kyle. He's on a four horsepower interceptor go-kart. Not only is this thing narrow and tippy, but it only has four horsepower up against everyone else's modified 212s kicking around 10 horsepower. You can see Lonnie and Braxton rocket past the start line as uh, there's quite a good amount of traffic and a little bit of friendly fire among Charles and Peyton. Vasily is borrowing Ratherby Welding's two-speed go-kart for this final race because Braxton had to use his go-kart in the final. And the first driver to drop out is Vasily. Uh, he loses his throttle cable on one of the first laps. Here you can see Kyle hanging on for dear life in the corners as the chain pops off of Peyton's Murray go-kart. We're nearly halfway into the Dust Bowl 500 and Lonnie loses P1 to Charles with John in third place while Kyle is holding on to fourth place with Braxton nipping at his heels. Peyton is out with a warped sprocket and Vasily is also out with a broken throttle cable. get around Lonnie as he takes a corner a little bit too wide, putting me in second place. Peyton re-enters the field right in front of a pack of drivers and his chain pops off again. Ike waves the caution flag, but the flags are too small and not everybody can see it. Charles illegally passes Braxton under a caution. Uh, it doesn't really matter because I think Braxton was a lap behind anyway. So we're back under a green flag and Charles, who's in first place, his go-kart starts running poorly, uh, probably because all the blow-by from the engine recently being seized. So John gets past him and is now in first place while Charles parks his go-kart and is out. This leaves just four contestants left. John from Cars and Cameras in first place, Lonnie from Redbeard's Garage in second place, Kyle uh, in third place, and Braxton from Redbeard's Garage in fourth place. second to last lap, Braxton spins, and I hurry to get him out of my way as Lonnie is closing in fast right near the end of the race. And there's the checkered flag. John from Cars and Cameras finishes first, Lonnie from Redbeard's Garage in second, Kyle in third, and Braxton, also from Redbeard's Garage, manages fourth place.
John wins his own race this year. Woo! <laughs> Did you win last year? Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of fishy, isn't it? Yeah. I just <laughs> That was fun. That was great. Whew. Man, that was a lot of fun. Lonnie, that was close, man. Yeah. You were, I couldn't get by you for the longest time. I think you beat me too. Uh, this uh, turn, yeah, I kept sure, just but, not turning at all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this one I was hauling around. And yeah. And this one it just pushed me straight into the berm and I just slowly make it around. Nice job, man. Peyton, what happened to you, all that Next thing I know, you're just like jumping the berm over there. Freaking chain kept coming off. Really? I almost stay had on. you. Uh huh. You never had me. You never I had your car. I, I had a, I had a lot of blow by, and yeah. my air filter got coated in oil. So if you were near me and hearing ba 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 ba, yeah, I was again? doing everything <laughs> I could to stay with y'all. Dust Bowl 500. I had a blast. What do you guys think? That Kyle made great. third. Lonnie made second. Got second. What do you think, Kyle? Yeah, great time. Thanks for having me out. Uh, the Manco Interceptor uh, Four Horse did a great job and just kept kept plugging away, kept knocking them off. Absolutely. Lonnie? Yeah? Is that a dingo? That is a dingo. Yeah. At least yeah. <laughs> improved slightly. Yeah. <laughs> Slicks uh, on the dingo. Yeah. It was awesome. I mean, it's stage one, two, twelve, and uh, performed just the way we wanted it to. Uh, just a little bit less than yours did. <laughs> a little bit less. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was kind of a race of like whoever can hold together, just like last year's race. Yeah. I had a good time. Like, I think 20 laps was the perfect amount. Uh, cart handled real good. I don't know what to do with my hands. Uh, <laughs> uh, we made a trophy. I'm obviously not going to keep my own trophy. I'm going to give it to, uh, to Lonnie here. We get to take it home. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, but thanks for coming, guys. Lonnie. Appreciate it. Weekend, yeah, dude. this has been Kyle, really fun. Always. Thank you. Uh, we're going to Red Beards in October, and uh, that should be a good time. Shout out to Tyrannus Customs. Uh, Vas uh, <laughs> Vaseline builds. Vaseline builds. <laughs> Vaseline builds. Uh, Rather be welding. Um, junkyard digs. Build, break, repeat. Uh, it's been a fun weekend, and I uh, can't wait to do it again. Thanks everybody for tuning in. It was a super fun weekend. Big shout out to everyone who came down as well. And thanks for being a, a good sport, everybody. I did specify you needed slick tires before the race started. And what do I have uh, but treaded tires? And I won the race. So uh, technically, uh, Lonnie is the winner because... Uh, <laughs> He didn't cheat. Uh, but anyway, that's racing. Uh, can't wait to go down to uh, Redbeard's Garage in Tennessee uh, in October and have the next Dust Bowl 500. Uh, let us know in the comments uh, what we can do to improve this event and race for the future. Thanks again for watching. Leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to Cars and Cameras. Help us get to that 1 million. We'll catch you next time. All right, Charles. We're going to be giving this puppy to Lonnie. He deserves it. Sorry, yeah. Running slick. <laughs> it's dusty sorry, out here. Sorry, yeah, yeah. They are swapping positions left and right.